Let's now bring in Ken Abramovitz. He is the chairperson of the American Friends of the Likud. And uh, Ken, Hamas welcoming this attack on Monday in a joint statement. Hamas and Islamic Jihad calling for more demonstrations. Does this now heighten tensions and security concerns to an even greater level? Well, sure. I mean, uh, Hamas is part of the Muslim Brotherhood. They're a professional terror organization. So whenever you have a professional terror organization operating against a democracy, it increases tensions, sure. But democracies have to stay strong against terror organizations. It can't be weak. But can you have uh, Muslims protesting the security measures? They're throwing stones at police. Now, if some kind of attack were to happen, the chances of collateral damage are pretty high. So. Why do they not want to ensure their security as well? That's right. The, the Muslim critics are not acting in their own self-interest. Uh, the the um, security protective measures protect everybody on the Temple Mount. Uh, Muslims, Jews, Christians, whoever wants to visit the Temple Mount. So actually the uh, security cameras and the metal detection systems are in everybody's interest except the terror organizations because the terror organizations want to take advantage of um, problems like this. So then are you surprised that there's such pushback from Palestinians, even from, from Jordanians? Sure. You, you should bear in mind that, that uh, uh, Islam, in, in my mind, is a 20 percent religion, 80 percent political movement. So it's the political movement that's now trying to take advantage and inflame uh, the situation. Uh, but any Muslim can go on the Temple Mount right now and, and uh, visit or pray. And so this, this, has, uh, this is just pure slander against Israel that the political Islam uh, element of Islam is taking advantage for pure political reasons, accusing Israel irrationally of um, uh, changing the status quo. The prime minister has consistently said that he wants to maintain the status quo, not change the status quo. Now, Ken, now Friday's attack took place right after a historic water sharing agreement was signed between Israel, the Palestinians and Jordan. Now, keeping in mind that Jordan is a custodian of the Al-Aqsa site and is now part of this mess, is now at odds with Israel. Some are suggesting that this attack was perhaps an attempt to derail what could have been seen as some kind of a political progress. What do you think? Uh, th that's logical. Uh, 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 is Israel wants to foster better relations uh, with uh, Arabs uh, throughout within Israel, uh, in Judea and Samaria, and, and in the region. So uh, Israel's very, working very hard to improve relations. But again, the political elements uh, of Islam, political Islam, does not want to see a normalization of relations uh, between uh, Israel and its neighbors. And they took advantage of this to create uh, ba um, uh, basically a little mess. And I'm sure they'll try to escalate it to a big mess. Uh, but Israel's uh, uh, pretty good at uh, handling um, political Islam. And uh, uh, Israel's been fighting political Islam uh, ever since its existence. And by the way, political Islam is not just an Israeli problem. Political Islam's declared war on Western civilization. Israel just happens to be the eastern border of Western civilization and therefore often bears the brunt of political Islam attacks and libel. All right, uh, Ken Abramovitz, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome.